You need to be very careful during this November full moon. And I believe that there's a lot of people putting out a lot of content out there that uh, maybe is kind of missing some of the points. Why? Is because this full moon being the beaver moon is actually a lunar eclipse moon. Now, when lunar eclipse moon happens, a lot of the time people look outside and they think, oh, eclipse is a good thing. But if you really think about what's actually happening on an energetic level, right? It is darkness that is prevailing during any sort of eclipse, where it's only allowing a little bit of light out. That's why there can be a lot of chaos that happens during this full moon if you don't know how to protect yourself properly. But if you know how to prevent that from happening and protect your energies, right? You, you know the do's and the don'ts, then you will still be able to maintain great vibrational frequencies and still be in good for manifestation. So we're going to break it all down for you in this video. So make sure to pay close attention, grab a pen and paper, and we're going to dive straight into it. But before we get into it, show real. Hit it. What's up guys, namaste, this is Shri Akashna here. And in this video, I wanna break down for you what to look out for with this particular full moon that's happening, okay? First of all, uh, remember, because on the 19th is the full moon, okay? We always look at the five days. So it's a two day before and a two day after this window, okay? Now we are, that's why I put this video out before full moon, right? So that you start understanding these two days before it, you need to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. The day on it, you need to pay, pay most close attention. Why? Because the energies will be more vibrant, most strongest. And then the two days after, still have these precautions and still look after your energy. Okay. First of all, like this. This November moon is very different to every other full moon. Usually on full moon, I say, yes, emotions can be a little bit chaotic and, and uh, uh, still uh, make sure you don't react to things. And, and, uh, but, it's, but it's very powerful, so it's very good for manifestations. This particular moon, I, 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 my recommendation for everybody is not so much to focus on manifestations, but more focused on grounding yourself, being at peace, and not being distracted or influenced in any wrong ways or also not reacting to things. Why is that so? Because this is actually the lunar eclipse. Now, this is a very interesting thing because this is something that I learned from my master, Grandmaster Akshar, during my initiation up in the Himalayas, okay? And if you really think about it, it's like this. A lot of the time when solar eclipse happens and lunar eclipse happens, what does the general public usually do? They usually go outside, they start celebrating, right? They say, oh, hey, let's look at the moon and let's go outside and look how beautiful it is and all the rest of it. And what, what they are unconsciously doing is celebrating a darkness that's prevailing. Now, this isn't said out there for, to scare you or anything, right? It is the exact opposite. This is to say, look, Darkness is, again, just like everything in life. It's not good or it's not bad. It just is. You know, you have nights, you have day, you have, you know, everything is yin and yang. Everything is day and night. Everything is up and down, everything left and right. So we, will, we live in this world of duality and polarity. So it's normal. It just is. But we need to understand if the universe and its energies are moving through what you can call a dark time, the darkness is prevailing, should your energy be outside, right? Connecting and celebrating in that moment? Actually, no, it shouldn't be, right? So how can you get the most powers from this space during this time? Manifestation powers, enhance your spiritual powers, enhance your connection is actually very simple, right? Number one, during those days, number one, definitely don't celebrate, right? You're not celebrating lunar eclipse, solar eclipse. You're not celebrating these things, right? You don't need to go outside and be in that darkness, right? Instead, actually be inside. 
And when you are inside, what are you working on, right? Be in prayer, practice for prayer. And what are you praying for? Don't pray for yourself. It's not, it's not required. What you are praying for is you are praying for light, right? You're praying for light to prevail. You're praying for love. You're praying for positivity. You're praying for healing to all those who need it. And just continue to pray, send, set and send those intentions to all those who need it around the world. Because during a time of the eclipse is when the darker or negative energies can come out to do their work. So that's why it's very important for us to protect our space, protect the people around us, keep ourselves grounded and do the correct practices during this time. So instead of going out and cheering and celebrating and say, hey, look how beautiful it is. It's in this time you go deep inside in prayer in intention. You're praying for light. You're praying for love. You're praying for positivity. You're praying for healing for the world. And be there with those vibrational frequencies, because at this time is when the light energies need your co-creation most. And what will happen is the universe will start recognizing who are the strong spirits or the conscious souls and conscious spirits who are working with them during that time, because that's when light needs to prevail, right? So they will recognize and they will naturally reward or award those who are in that space. So they will, you will be able to receive more powers, more spiritual powers during that time by praying for the light. Okay, so there's a couple of things just to wrap up and recap for this video, right? During this window, 19th will be strongest. So do these practice at most intensity. The two days before, two days after, do, the, do everything I'm saying as well, right? But 19th is most intensity. So just to recap, two things in total. Number one, protect your energies. How do you do it? Actually, if you can stay away from people, too many people, don't go out in public too much, not around too many people, not around too much chaos, right? Don't be reading things on the news and reacting to things. Don't be reacting to people, right? If understand if negativity comes, allow it to pass. Don't deal with it. The moment your attention is there, it amplifies and you become it, then you manifest more of it. Okay. Keep yourself grounded, do some grounding activities, feet to the ground, breath work. <sighs> keep the mind at peace, continue to practice more gratitude practices, keep the heart beautiful at peace, at bliss, right? And prayer. Okay, so first part of it is protection. Second part of it is intention. So practice these two things for the five days and you will be able to number one, protect your energies from any challenges from coming into your life. And the second thing is be able to enhance your manifestation powers for when the eclipse finishes, then you will start seeing new manifestations coming your way and you'll be rewarded for that. So guys, if you've got any aha moments from this type of aha inside the comment box below. If you learned anything at all, or it was just a bit of inspiration and a bit of knowledge, then please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button to help this video get out to more people who need it. And also comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Ciao.